fuck you too. All right. Nah. Got a package in the mail. I already opened it. I already pre-opened it, but the saddest thing is it's still new to you guys, right? Like it is to me. Got the package right here. This is from Gamma. Yeah. Um, they sent me some guards. It's good. I don't know if these. Oh, snap! These are these are double magnetic guards. The ending. I'm gonna try these out. These look pretty clean. I wonder if you could put them on an Andis clipper, or is it you just have to have a wall clipper? I don't know. We'll try them out. But got a card right here. Uh, it's a. I don't know, it's their trimmer card. It's a list of, hold on, let me, let me show you. Basically a card full of uh, their products. <laughs> and last but not least, we got two of these shavers, man. These shavers is actually nice. These Uno uh, single shavers. This is actually pretty clean. I should do a giveaway on one of these in the comment section below. Let me know. I got two. I'll do a giveaway on one of these. But yeah. Stay tuned. Show beats. Hustle Dreams Production. All right, you guys, so before you actually start cutting, what you wanna do, especially when it comes to waivers, man, you wanna pick the hair out first, comb through the hair, lift the hair off the scalp. That way the hair is easy to go into the teeth of the blade with whatever clipper that you're using. So my client wanted a number two on top. So I grabbed my two guard with the lever closed cause that's an official two. Um, and I'm going with the grain of his pattern, making sure I take my time, not go too fast. Cause you never know um, if your client has any cowlicks or light spots. So make sure you, um, you know, coast that blade up around his um, edge up too, just to check and see if he has any cowlicks. Um, during the combing process, you want to do that as well to check for um, anything, you know, you know, any calyx or anything like that, because that's going to help you out when you run that clipper uh, through the hair. Now it's time to move on to the taper. And how I'm gonna start this taper off is I'm gonna use my Babla Skeleton FX and I'm gonna set in my ball line first. I'm gonna do it in a rainbow-like shape and make sure that I don't bring it too high. Make sure I keep it um, kinda in the middle. And uh, you don't have to make the rainbow-like shape super extreme. You can make it uh, nice and subtle. Now going back with my wall cordless seniors with the lever open, notice how I'm using my corners only when I set this, uh, this guideline in and I'm brushing the hair down as I go. Now make sure you go over the guideline multiple times because you really want get, to get it down to that length. Next guideline you want to set is the one guard with the lever open. I'm going up and I'm scooping out, still in that rainbow like shape, making sure I go over the guideline multiple times, kind of using my corners uh, when I can, but using the full blade in areas where it's wider. Now putting on my two guard with the lever open, 
I'm basically taking off the bulk at the top. This isn't me setting in a guideline. I'm just scooping out, cleaning up that area, making sure everything flows into that number two guard on top. Now I'm putting back on that one guard, cleaning up that area between the one and the two. And I'm just kind of using my corners, kind of blending out. Um, this is kind of flicking out as I go. Now closing the lever on that one guard, I'm basically softening up that middle line so it could be easier to take it out with the next step now i could take it out immediately but as a beginner you want to soften things up as you go now putting on the zero guard with the lever closed in a flick out motion now it's way easier to flick out that middle line now that you softened it up so i'm just using my corners um kind of debulking those areas getting in those areas but i'm not going to take too long on this i'm just going to keep moving on what you got to do is keep moving on don't stay locked in on one particular step too long move on that way you could save time with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion flick out that bottom line notice how i'm using my corners the entire time and just like the middle line you can soften up that bottom line by setting your lever in the middle but i just decided to just go ahead and just take it out immediately with the lever closed that way i save on time so here's the most important part of blending is doing detailing and really taking your blends to the next level now what i like to do is i like to look away from the blend rest my eyes come back or look in the mirror the mirror shows you everything you need in a different perspective so utilize those tools as well um one thing that i'm doing right now is i'm trying to gain my rainbow like shape back so i'm trying to debulk those areas so i could get that shape um that i want So just like the front line, I like to take the lineup behind the ear down to a 1.5 or just a guard size lower of whatever I have on the top. That makes the lineup crispy and you'll get no overhang. So with the back, it's the same exact steps. Um, that's why I really don't really go into, you know, teaching you guys how to do the back because I'll just be repeating myself. And at this point, I'm going to speed it up because why? It's the same exact steps. You got a wider uh, area to work with, so it's way easier to blend in the back. So when it comes to lining someone up, I always like to start from the middle and go to the side. Um, now, when I'm not filming, I like to do the vertical bars first, but because it looks better when I'm filming, I like to start from the middle and go outward. That cuts off the middle man. That makes the short, that makes the distance shorter um, when you're lining someone up. You never wanna go from the corner of your right or left all the way to your left or right. You always wanna start from the middle to your left or the middle to your right.
so when it comes to spraying on the enhancements um i like to spray at an angle um and not directly on all right that'll that way you'll get a smooth transition from um the lineup to the back of the hair all right you don't never want to spray it on directly always spray your gun at an angle Now, I gotta give a shout out to Get Beam because he put me onto this pencil. Um, I would not be doing it if it wasn't for Get Beam. He actually gave me a pencil like this when I went out to see him in Chicago. So shout out to Get Beam. But this is um, make this is going the extra mile of enhancements, man. This is uh, just like women use um, eyeliner to you know make their um, eyelashes pop or not eyelashes but their eyebrows pop. This is the same, basically the same technique. So what I'm gonna do is i'm gonna reline it and push this uh pencil ash mark up to the line this will make the lineup pop and stand out more So what I like to do, especially when it comes to waivers, I like to give a freehand trim. This is closing the lever, making sure the lever is fully closed. It's basically a zero and you're just gliding that blade across the hair, getting all those frizzy hairs to lay down or, you know, you're basically cutting the hair off, but you're getting the hair to look late as possible. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, son. We make it look easy. You too. This is The Cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, all right? Hustle Dreams Production. That's my brother. He's on the track. Make sure y'all give him a follow. His link will be in the description below. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. And I know y'all gonna be like, Jeezy, did he really pay you that much to cut his hair? Listen, clickbait, okay? I'm gonna say it right now, it's clickbait, okay? Clickbait, what you mean? The cut fire, though. Hey, listen, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.